Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 and a useful website resource called jaguarrepair.com. This is video 24 in my series of Jaguar XK8 videos. In this video I'm going to show you what uh, resources are available at jaguarrepair.com. Okay, so let's f find this resource. So first of all we need to type in, in your um, internet browser Jag re dot com okay should get this search bar right okay jagrepair.com jagger repair information resource that's the one the website should come up like this so here we are jagrepair.com we have to uh, take a moment to um uh thank gus G gilcas or gillicas po apologies gus if that pronunciation is incorrect uh for all his work on this absolutely superb website um uh, it looks like he's finished updating it in 2017, but as the car is, or the X100 is uh, 24 or 25 years old, it's still immensely useful. Okay, so I say I'm interested in XK8, X100, so these three tabs across the, the middle here are very interesting to me. Uh, I've got body, engine, drivetrain, interior repairs, electrical OBD codes, tech guide, spec books, technical service bulletins in that one. And on the left here, we've got some extras. We've got Jaguar extras and non-standard mods. There's also parts, suppliers, repair shop links. But it's a US-based based website. So unless you're in the US, it's not really much information for you. And there's some links to other websites and uh, forums. OK, so looking at some of this in details, so let's have a pop into this uh, tab. Or Oh, sorry, the wrong one. <laughs> wrong one. Uh, this one, right, okay, so here we are. Like I say, I've had my car for five, six years now, getting quite familiar with it, but when I see this list of uh, documented repairs, body, engine, drivetrain, suspension, interior, I wish I'd known this earlier. This is somebody's been there, done it. You, know, you think you found something new, forget it. Somebody's already documented it, and it's probably on here. So, uh, repairs, repairs. So, you have a look at alternator replacement example. This is typical of the sort of stuff you get on there. As photographs, step by step instructions. Thank you for that, Gus. Right, okay. So, there you go. There's repairs. Now, we'd look at the electrical OBD codes and the various specs. Click on this. Okay, so what I got here. Um, all the electrical specs for all the different model years, uh, OBD codes, it's a bit of about the history, the technical guides, and these are actually the model years information. So look at the OBD codes or DTC. Um, I'm an interest in engine management 1998. This is a 1996 car. This is most relevant for me. So DTC summaries. So what we got? So here is a complete list of all the engine management codes it's gonna you're gonna encounter and the fault description a bit about um, monitoring conditions and then you do fault action and possible causes so it's not just a list of the numbers it's also some indication of what might be wrong and some clues as to what to look at so that's very useful again we down to these the technical guides these are to the model gear the definitions have a look at each one, but actually 2003 is probably a good example. Just wait for this to load up. Here we go. Now, this is a service training technical guide. Now, this is really useful if you've got a car, you want to know the difference between your car and somebody else's. You go through all the different, um, or all the, list all the differences between the 2002 car. Uh, 2003 was the most significant one, um, as described here. So. It goes all the way through chassis engine, the transmission, engine management. It goes through it all. Yeah, so just flicking through. So you've got difference in the brakes, Brimo brakes. Um, stability control. It, 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 it's quite a big change and you can see the amount of detail and I say this isn't something I've created or Gus has created this is the Jaguar Pucker document they gave out to other people Here's a bit about the different uh, headlights 
it's incredible. And there's one of these for each model year. Uh, that's there. There's some other text, tech books, lots of resources to have a look at. Okay, so we go back. Next is uh, technical service bulletins. So have a look at that. There's quite a long list of this. It's not complete. We have found uh, others. They're not on here, but it's quite a long list, as you can see. And uh, most of them on here. Uh, let's have a click at one. Here's one of the ones I like. Uh, engine oil capacity increase level. New dipstick. So those who don't know, you should have the right dipstick. You may not. I've done a little video about this. I should see a link at the top. Yeah. Jaguar decided at some point they wanted to put an extra litre of oil in. People going too fast around corners. Right. Okay. So technical service bulletins. There's lots of information there. Now Jaguar extras. These are bits that don't f f uh, fold. Uh, uh, sorry, um, it hasn't filed into the uh, individual tabs you see there. But there's lots of more extra stuff. So if you can't see it in the other tabs, have a look at this one. Again, it's an engine, body, interior. Lots of interesting info again. Now we've got to non-standard mods. He's got lots of links to jagwrangler.com if you're not familiar with that website they offer lots of, of modifications um, you've got the real gauge mod uh, Garmin sat nav mob uh, modification so there's lots of links to that and there you go a little link to Paragon so as I say somebody's been there done it if we now go back to the beginning I say hopefully um, if you have a problem with your car and want to know more information, I would uh, recommend. Okay, um, hopefully you found that uh, interesting and useful. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.